Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching episode 7 of The Acolyte. So after the series has failed at action, drama, character writing, story writing, or having us care at all about the story at all, and also respecting the lore of Star Wars in general, what else can the series fail at? It can fail at a penultimate episode that's supposed to reveal a huge plot twist. Especially considering that this episode goes back to the flashback involving Indara, Sol, Torben, and Kalnaka. On one hand, I'm actually kind of glad we're getting an episode from their perspective, considering that we barely know anything about Torben or Kalnaka, or Indara for that matter, because, because they're at least played by decent actors who are trying to do the best they can with a bad script. But at the same time, the bad script is really the problem. So basically what, what we get from here is that we get to see that the Jedi arrived at that planet in, because they were investigating a massive virgence, basically a big concentration of force energy, which was caused by the witch cult. And Sol was concerned with the safety of both May and Osha, and given how the witches act and how they don't really bother to explain most of the stuff that they do it's perfectly logical as to why he was concerned for their safety especially considering that given something that happens in the episode it could a lot of the bad stuff in this episode and throughout the whole series could have been avoided if the witches just explained what they did half the time it's just a case of bad communication that Definitely a result of bad writing when a lot of the people involved should have known better. Especially considering that this episode lets us know that Sol and Dara, Torben, and Kelnaka are mostly portrayed sympathetically. In the sense that they at least didn't deserve to be killed by May, or Kamir for that matter. I will admit that there is one part of the episode that I did enjoy. There, There's this one part where the witches basically take over... Kelnaka's mind, and both Torben and Sol have to actually fight him. Granted, Sol does m the majority of the action, but Lee Jung Jae does a decent job with the choreography, and it is cool to see a Wookiee Jedi actually friggin' fight. That was uh, one thing I was really disappointed with when we got to a certain to the episode where Kelnaka died. But it is, you know, it's an okay fight, but it doesn't make up for all the bad writing in the episode. Especially considering that not only was May a psychotic anyways, and she still started the fire that somehow managed to destroy an entire fortress when the majority of it was made of stone. I mean, I'm pretty sure fire doesn't spread that far that fast when it comes to stone, even with a bunch of oil in the, in the lamp. It's not enough oil to cause explosions and stuff like that, but I I'm getting ahead of myself. Turns out May was only had her bad points increased because of master of her uh, mother coral yeah it turns out you know the two mothers one of them being anasea i think who the one who's the nice one and coral who's the one who tries to keep the girl safe turns out she actually encouraged may to do all the horrible things that she did so yeah she's even more hateable than she already was in the in the third episode and a lot of the bad stuff that happens are because of her own recklessness and the fact that she just decided to try to kill the Jedi ra rather than actually try to go through diplomacy. So yeah, a lot of this series was caused by a bunch of stupid people making stupid decisions, and the few good fights that we get out of it are generally not enough to actually make up for one of the worst stories that we've ever seen in Star Wars history. One that tries to apparently show that the Jedi are morally gray when in reality the Jedi seemed like they were just doing their jobs and were just doing what they were what they were assigned to do the whole time especially considering that they hadn't were, weren't really a threat to any of the witches at all it was really someone in their own ranks who ended up being a psycho so with all those failures down the line how do they plan to end this train wreck and how are they going to manage to end it with without getting the lowest score in the history of Disney Star Wars? We'll see.